I think that it's important for institutions to value Indigenous knowledge for a variety of practical reasons. One is language. I think Cree as a language is probably one of the most widely written languages, Indigenous languages. Part of that is because you have a large population of Cree Métis people which almost double the people who would write in it and so on. So I think the more wide use of Indigenous languages in university instruction I think that would be amazing. And to have bilingual books and so on. I think that's the, the future, like Frida Henneke's work. Right now, we're translating, I didn't put that in the bio, but we're, re we're translating uh, the work of Ruth Cuthand, who's an artist. The whole, it's a first art catalog that will be completely in English and Cree. Mm -hmm. So, but can you imagine trying to um, translate like disembodied apathy <laughs> so you have to try and say that in Cree yeah. now the key is that you have to use metaphors and so on that makes sense in Cree so I think the use of language is one concrete thing I think another one is uh, the giving maybe tenure to traditional knowledge keepers that's a radical unorthodox idea but we've done that at Trent for a long time now that might not sit well with more conservative administrators at universities but I think if you really believe that indigenous knowledge is equally valuable then that's where I think you would demonstrate that by actually paying people uh, salaries commensurate with that. So I think that also incorporating it into the curriculum or curricula mm -hmm. to use narratives, to use stories, and not just to study Indigenous people. See, I think that's where Indigenous studies throughout Canada was limited, say, in the 60s and even 70s. Well, really didn't start till the 70s, 80s, is that Indigenous people were just the subjects of research, pardon me, the objects of research. Whereas if you really want to transform research and so on, it would be indigenous research methodologies, indigenous ways of acquiring knowledge and so on. And I think we're partially there, but I think there's a long way to go still.